Good morning, YouTube. Public Piper here. Well, it's another beautiful Saturday morning in North Carolina, and you guys know what that means. It's time to go out in the town, sit outside, smoke a few pipes, and just be good advocates for pipers everywhere. Put a good, positive vibe out there. So let's get to it, because these pipes aren't going to smoke themselves. All right, guys. So I started off with some Dunhill Elizabethan. It's a great way to kick off the day. Got my coffee here, got my club soda. It's part of a complete breakfast, just like Cheerios. This is a good early morning pipe. Was that your car? Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you record any of it? No, I was here probably 10 seconds. I sat down and I heard it and I could tell your car moved back and then I had to go out and see it, but I just missed it. Yeah. It's drivable though? Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. the got dented a little. I barely have one bowl's worth of uh, interlude left, so I'm going to try to make the most of that. It's probably like a half a bowl. <clears throat> but I'm going to save that for the next place we go to, which would be uh, that outdoor restaurant overlooking the river, uh, a couple blocks down the street here. All right, so I just finished my first bowl of the day. Uh, Elizabethan is just fantastic. It's a great way to start the day, and now it's time to go to the next place. Pretty cool parrot. Toucan Sam. Whoa, I didn't see that. He's got a pipe. <laughs> so let's go check this place out. Hopefully not too crowded yet. So last time I was here, it was a great spot right on the ledge here, which gives me a good view of the city. All right, so my meal came. I've got everything I need. Got a pulled pork barbecue sandwich, Carolina style, of course. And I'm gonna have a few bites and then get into a bowl of Sunday picnic. Starting to warm up to this nose warmer, no pun intended. Uh, Tried to bust it out a few times over the last couple weeks, and it's kind of growing on me a little bit. I don't think I quite gave it a fair shot the first time I got it. So a couple days ago, I had to make a tough decision. Uh, the backstory is about three months ago, when I was living in Richmond, Virginia, I went to a pipe club meeting and one of the guys there gave me a sample of McClellan's 2015. Awesome stuff. Brought it home, smoked the bowl. I was so impressed with it that immediately I logged on and ordered, I think, eight or 10 ounces. And when I got it home, it was really surprising because that first bowl was just, it was actually really bad. Got a horrible tongue bite and thought, well, it must be something unique to this one bowl. So I gave it a shot, a few more shots actually, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, same thing, so I ended up trying to stove it at about 190 degrees in the oven for about an hour and a half, thinking you know, maybe that will dry it out, because it does have a moistening agent on it. It keeps it uh, pretty moist and really hard to burn. But after trying to do so many things with it, I just gave up and chucked it. And it kind of reminds me of a quote that Smoke Signal said on one of his videos uh, a couple weeks ago. I didn't think much of it at the time, but uh, he had a really good point said life's too short to smoke bad tobacco and when I was wrestling with that decision whether to throw it away or not um, I remembered that quote and I thought that's right not, there's so many tobaccos out there I can probably do without this one so I know it's a good tobacco because I've had it before but uh, maybe it, maybe I got a bad batch or something I'm not sure but that was a tough call I was hesitating like throwing that much tobacco away So one of the things I've been thinking about getting into is astronomy. I've been thinking about buying a telescope, um, one of those really nice ones that has a remote control and will kind of zoom into a planet or a constellation and kind of find it for you. And I'm getting ready to buy a condo in a high rise here in a few months. I've kind of had this fantasy of you know, sitting out on my balcony, 
having a nice pipe at night and just kind of watching stars zooming in on the rings of Saturn. Um, it's really, it's a cool picture I have in my mind. You guys are closed, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and cash me out. I think yep. I'm done. Yep. But if any, any, yeah, if any of you guys have tried that or know anyone who has, definitely let me know. Um, it is kind of expensive. It's an expensive hobby to get into. And I've gotten into expensive hobbies before, and sometimes it's worked out, and sometimes I lost interest. But right now, I'm, I'm pretty fascinated by the concept of doing that. It seems pretty cool. Thank you. You're Such a cool place. Yeah, you gotta come here. Um, nights real lively. We have live music every single night. So. Yeah. Monday we're closed, but is it always just like tranquil, really relaxing um, music? Saturday usually is. Um, the rest of the week we have like um, bluegrass on Thursday. We okay. Have solo people on Tuesdays, and the rest can be anywhere from like a lap guitar to instruments you've never seen to a harp to a harp, really. I mean, every instrument you've seen and things you've never seen. <laughs> it's crazy. This kind of reminds me of the place that uh, like James Taylor would come. It yeah. kind of has that vibe to it. Yeah, this is a really cool. This Elizabethan mixture. I'm telling you, man, this is good stuff. I'm gonna have to order more of this. It's just really consistent. Every bowl I've had tastes just like the last. Just, it's the same every time. All right, guys, so I just walked by the place we were gonna go to next, um, but the bikers were still there taking up all the seats. Kind of makes me miss my motorcycle, to be honest. But uh, we'll hit that up some other weekend. But I think we'll call it a day. So I hope you had fun. If you're snowed in in the north, hopefully uh, you got a little escapism from this video. But yeah, it was a good day. So I'll see you next time. Thanks again.